right? What are you making? Bunnies. Making bunnies. Making bunnies. Bunny day's coming. Bunny day. So are those just like the bunny heads, or are they gonna be filled? This guy was making the heads of the bunnies. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I don't, well, they bunny bodies like, are not my department. Mm. Bunny bodies are your dad's department. I just do the heads. I got the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Fancy. <laughs> See this here bunny head? Mm -hmm. We're gonna fill it with peanut butter. Yes, uh, we are. You can see all the three dimensionalness uh -huh. of it. Uh-huh. Take that lid and scoop the peanut butter out and <laughs> have a happy day. And then you're just doing the full, full body bunnies? He's doing the full Monty. Yeah. <laughs> Fill them up. So, we had a request recently to talk about something that was... We mentioned it very vaguely over a year ago, or maybe it was even two years ago, uh, and someone wanted to know more details. Uh, basically, I think you said that I did something really stupid and you weren't sure which one is stupider. Yeah. So maybe we can put vote. it to a vote. Yeah. Yeah, maybe people can vote in the comment section okay. or something. I mean, we try not to use the S word like you just did. <coughs> But, oh, I have to bleep it out. Okay. So the the least smart thing that they know that you did so far was when you hitched up a scooter to a bicycle and were having your friend, you hitched it up with bungee cords. You looking for your something, friend, Dad? I was wondering what the bag is. Oh. Uh, it's for samples or something. Yeah, or, your friend, the I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the story, Steve. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> so you're, you had your friend um, pulling you down the street on a scooter that you were sitting on behind him with bungee cords. Mm -hmm. And the, I was afraid that you might perhaps get injured if the bunny, bungee, if the bunny cords detached, hit mm -hmm. you in the eye, a car came around the corner, hit you. I just felt it was bad. Mm -hmm. So I felt that was less than intelligent. But so, so you came, I remember you came out running, yelling. Yes. <laughs> I did come running down the street, and, screaming your name. And then... Uh, you were 15 at the time. Yeah, and then we uh, we stopped doing that, and then we went over to Andres' house, and then we did it at his house. Yeah, well, you stopped doing it, detached the cords, and Andres <laughs> just drove <biked> away. <laughs> <laughs> he was out of here. I, I, can, I can get my own mad mom. I don't need yours. Yeah. <laughs> so then, a couple of years later... 2015. Oh, you know the year? There's a reason I know the year, but go ahead. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there would be a reason you know the year. Uh, so, uh, in 2015, I went to the farmer's market, and I wanted to see if I liked a watermelon. Because if I really liked it, at the time, I was going through watermelon like crazy per week. Because I was really into watermelon. So, I'd eat a couple per week. So, I was like, you know, I, I want to make sure they're good first. So, I would cut one in half. And then, if I really liked it, then I would buy a bunch of them. And... I had to put the, the one that was cut in half in the car, so I put it in one of the car seats, which it was in the CRV. Um, I put the cut in half one in the CRV, and it was buckled up, and then it... Are you uh, following this, Steve? Yeah, I'm listening. He put a half of an open watermelon in the back of our CRV. Yeah. Did you know this? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> this is the first you're hearing of this. Yeah. Um, so... It's got a round bottom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a watermelon. Half a watermelon. The they're they're known for being very grippy, though. You mean in the bag? No. When you said you buckled it in. Oh. Well, like I said, they're known for being very grippy. So. I have a cargo liner in the cargo area. You wouldn't want to put it on that, would you? No. And this is our brand new car. You're old. Old enough to drive. <laughs> <laughs> four years ago. Uh, four, oh, okay. I think yeah. I was like twenty. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I was like, no, I'd be like twenty-two. At the time, hey. so I haven't gotten too much brighter. <laughs> you, you melon head. <laughs> um, and then I think I came to a stop, and then it flipped over, and so yeah. there's watermelon juice all there's over. There's a the, watermelon stain on the seat, and was yeah. it seedless? Of course. <laughs> yeah. In a brand new car. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I got some upholstery shampoo and cleaned up as yeah. best I could. Well, because I, I came to mom, I was like, mom, what should I do? You're like, spray, the, and then uh, she told me to just spray the upholstery cleaner stuff. And I was like, well, I could have just done that. Cause like, I thought about doing that. I was like, I could have done it without even telling her. Dad, yeah, Leah doesn't even know about this. <laughs> yeah, Leah <laughs> was grilling yeah. us like a few oh, months yeah. ago about this. Like, tell me what it is. What did Craig do? And I'm oh. like, I can't, I can't say. Not until mom and Craig said it's okay. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> she was like trying to guess. I'm like, no, you're never gonna oh, guess. But tell, we gotta tell Leah to watch this and she'll, and she'll know. Yeah. I, so, I, I think we told her it's not that interesting. Yeah, and she's wanting to know even more. Okay, so what's, what's, 
less intelligent. Can yes, I, can Max? I throw a third story Go there? ahead, Max. Because oh, no. at first, uh, it reminded me of another one. Do you remember the bike one? Where you couldn't stop and you were going downhill, so you used something to stop yourself? Oh, my head. Uh, yeah. I was like, because it started to sound like that story. So, oh, we have a contender. So that was uh, when I was... Oh, I was a lot younger then. Because um, I was over at uh, our cousin Craig's house. Okay. Um, and uh, I had been like fourth grade or something like that. So we were like going off a jump and... We're in Hollis? I was wearing a helmet, yeah, actually. Wow. Because everyone else good. wasn't wearing a helmet. I was like, no, I want to wear a helmet. They're like, you don't have to. I might like, need this helmet. I was like, no, I, I really do want to wear a helmet. They're like, okay. So I put on the helmet and I think at the time, well, yeah, I was a lot younger because at the time my brake on my bike was to pedal backwards. Okay. And not, I wasn't used to yeah. a handbrake. So I was trying to pedal backwards to brake, and I was like, it's not working, like after I went off the jump. So I was like, I was like, uh, I could either turn right, crash into the house. I could turn left and go down the hill and crash into the trees and bushes, thorns and stuff down there. Or I could keep going straight and uh, just lower my head and hit the tree. So oh. <laughs> Did you think about Ooh. jumping off the bike at all? No, that didn't really go through my head. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing I was wearing my helmet because because my head just kind of hurt. But that was oh, about geez. it. I didn't. Uh, oh, wasn't did too you, bad. And you didn't break your neck hardly. No, that's good. Yeah. You know, little kids are pretty durable. They bounce right back. Yeah, they're more like rubbery. Yeah, yeah. So we have to vote. <laughs> Which one was less intelligent? <laughs> the melon incident, the scooter incident, or the hitting the tree with your head incident? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Steve, you, you go first. <laughs> oh, we're voting. I thought it was just the people in the comments. Oh, section. no. Oh, I want okay. them to vote, too. Okay. But I, I want to get... This is the first your dad's heard of it. I, I think I have a vote for okay. for me, but I'll, I'll go do after you have any other you story? Anything else that we don't know about? Oh, I'm sure I do. But I can't... None come to mind right now. Oh, darn it. You're using your head for a break, probably. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's it, it so worked young. out, though. Everything worked out. It was young, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with the watermelon incident because yeah. you're 22. Yeah. <laughs> and melons are round and they don't belong in the back seats of brand new cars when you have a rubber cargo mat. Yeah. <laughs> it's made for I didn't really think about like that. that. But I guess that, that's... Uh, clearly. I guess, yeah, I was going to say, I guess that's why people do dumb stuff. Yep. They just they didn't don't think, about think about it too much. Joe, do you have a vote? <laughs> uh, probably the melon story <laughs> makes me feel very melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> Rain, um, putting you on the spot. <laughs> probably the watermelon story or the scooter. Yeah, I was gonna. That's that would be my vote. Would be like the scooter, just because like, I guess maybe just because there's a more of a danger factor. I mean, there's also one I guess when you're running headfirst into a tree, but. Right, but yeah. we're gonna let you go because you were so yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a biking incident. Oh that, yeah. <laughs> going down a hill, uh, eating an apple. Was a watermelon? No, no, the watermelon was too big, otherwise it would have gone for that. <laughs> but I was eating an apple in one hand and trying to go down the hill with my other hand. <laughs> <laughs> go down the hill on your bike with and the And I other crashed hand. into a swing set. And my leg split open somewhat. And, but I was like eight or nine. Mm. So eight or nine year olds on bikes can be less than smart. Mm. I think we can all drink to that. Yeah, but I, I remember I through the electric fence in a Tisco. How'd that work out? Uh, it was a shocking experience. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that you told us also like when you hit it and like you saw the big gash in your leg, you said you were looking around for the chunk of yes, your skin. Yes, I was. I wasn't gonna say that on camera because I thought maybe that'd be gross, but oh. hey, you said it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that oh, you need, I'm gonna need that chunk so I can put it back in yeah. and put it back in. <laughs> but, I didn't realize it was that the skin had split. Yeah. So my friend Rosaria went and got my mama who came and got me, took me to the ER. I think I went three years in a row to mm -hmm. the ER. And uh, yeah. Huh. That playground was kind of tough for me because I yeah. once got a splinter in my um, upper thigh hmm. at that playground on the teeter-totter. Mm -hmm. hmm. I had to go to the nurse's office and I'm laying face down and she's trying to figure out if she can get the splinter out. <laughs> and um, the principal walks by mm -hmm. and she's like, Mr. Myers, can you come in here? This little girl has a sliver in her fanny. Like, okay, can I can I die now? Anybody? Can this can this uh, nurse bed just swallow me whole? I want to die. When they finally got it out, did you give a huge thigh of relief? <laughs> yes, I did. No, I had to go to the emergency room to get a sliver out of my upper thigh. Mm. Tiny. Tiny. Yeah, that was uh, a debasing experience. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. Should 
get the squirrel dad. Show off. <laughs> Can you do it, Mom? No. <laughs> he won't tell me how. You could do it. I, th I think I've seen you do it before. I, I when have you had you, more chocolate you in your You probably dreamt it, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> if your name is Stevie. This seems a lot easier than the Oreo ones. Yeah. <laughs> no Oreos. Have you guys done the potato chip bunnies yet? Not yet. Shh. Don't tell him. Thanks a lot, Craig. <laughs> no, he's going. going no, no. 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 So did the, how did the Oreo bunny sell after that video? Vigorously. Yeah. And bristly. <laughs> Vigorously. Vigorously and bristly. Yes. Yeah, we haven't done an egg video yet, so are those are those still pretty popular? Oh no, now everyone's gonna want eggs. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna want eggs. So yeah, we think that we're done making eggs. Mm -hmm. We think we're one and done, but <laughs> we know that's not necessarily a thing anymore. Sometimes you're not yeah. done. Mm -hmm. But. But all the flavors, I believe, are on the website now. Yeah, what carry. flavors do we have? Buttercream, raspberry, coconut. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Butter. Marshmallow. Well, I got it. Oh, peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter cream. That's an important one. And it's peanut butter cream. So it's our cream mixed with peanut butter. It's not just straight peanut butter like a Reese's egg or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then marshmallow, which we have in milk and dark, and a peanut butter covering. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, that's enough. And those are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. You know what I said the other day? I probably shouldn't say it on camera, so I won't. <laughs> you know what would be a great egg to have? Mm. Orange. Mm. Yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you guys did orange you know, egg with, like, so raspberry chocolate, yeah. it'd be like a fruit salad. Oh. <laughs> it'd be like healthy candy, right? <laughs> Okay. Kale eggs. Kale eggs. <laughs> That's about the only way you're gonna get kale into some people. Yeah. <laughs> Surrounded in sugar and chocolate. Yeah. Kale clusters, kale eggs, kale bark, salted sea salt kale bark. Can we get any Joe? You interested? Sounds like a full kale disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so do you like being in the chocolate more? It's nice to produce things. To yeah. Produce a pile of stuff. I mean what I do this is the first time for the last two weeks I've been able to actually come back to making candy. I've been yeah. here since September. Mm. And I finally sort of got my act together and got my paperwork done, got my taxes done, mm. so that I can make candy. I love it. Yeah. Making candy is great again. Yeah, and yeah, because you, like, I think you said before that you find it, like, more satisfying to actually do something and yeah. actually get it done, instead of, like, in the office, it's just problem solving and you constantly run into new hurdles. Yeah, it's and it's also nice because Kara is also um, able to do a lot of the shipping now, so. Mm. That's been pretty awesome too. Yeah. But I mean, it's a balance. But I do like to be in here, mm -hmm. be more in touch with the product and whatnot. Now, why aren't you using a pastry bag, Tara? I refuse. What, mom? Oh, sorry. I, just, I didn't mean anything by it. We do what we want around here. <laughs> She's my daughter. Of course, she hates pastry bags. <laughs> it runs in the family. Yeah. Get too much for the ears. Oh, yeah, because yeah, then you get peanut butter on the chocolate. Yeah. You can always wipe it off, sort of. But then it stays a little bit oily, so. You also don't want, don't want too much peanut butter yeah. too close to the top because then overflows the oil. Yeah. It's a delicate dance. Moving, moving it over to the ear. There yeah. we go. 
This is your first bunny you've ever done? No. Oh, you've done bunnies before? Yep. Like last Easter or this Easter? This Easter. Oh, really? You're not always here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not here most of the time. Yep. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Just like little pa taught me. Yeah. Right, little pa? Right. A little more in the ears. I want to get peanut butter on your camera. Hmm. In close. That that'd probably be fine. High enough. Uh, no, a little bit more. A little more? Oh, well. Just level. Oh, okay. I thought it had to be a little lower. So the peanut butter will kind of hold the lid on, but you don't want it to lose out of the sides. Yeah. What did you say it was, Craig? What? You said it was like a... I don't know. I can't remember what you said. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's a fine line. Oh, it's a... Yeah. I don't know. It's a fine dance or something like that. A fine dance. Yeah. <laughs> It's a mighty fine dance, the peanut butter dance. Oh, I just try to make it level. And I'm, I'm sure people are going to comment about how you're not going that fast, but as you go, you get faster and faster. Yep, never said I was fast at this. <laughs> No, I mean like just anything here, like especially if you haven't done it even in like a week. Your first couple you do kind of slow and then you, you know, you pick up the pace. Yeah, I probably did one like, or a couple of them like a few weeks ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. I wrapped them. Those are, it's really easy to wrap them. Yeah. I think it's almost, maybe a little more on that ear. Okay, a little bit more. <laughs> You keep thinking you're done, then you yeah. see another spot. Yeah. I hear when that happens. Gonna get to this corner. I think it's good now. I don't want too much. Mm -hmm. Little bunny. Now you're just trimming off the uh, the excess. Uh-huh. Are you all set? Yes. Now what's that thing is this? 702. Okay. So for everyone at home, she needs a 702 bag. I don't know what color I'm going to do. I'll just tie it with white for now. Find the end. <laughs> That's the tricky part. Well, sometimes you get tangled. Yeah. I'm just gonna cut it. I don't even care. <laughs> then, then I'll find it. 
Yeah. Yeah. See? Ah, ah. Is that a good length? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I mean, I'm just <laughs> tying it shut. This yeah. is not an important part of it. Get it tight like you're choking it. Can I teach you that? Of course. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I just cut a little bit off. And then we pick a bow. Hmm. Let's go with blue. Okay. Did you guys go in the back at all to see how everything's done? I didn't see no one. Oh, yeah, you guys can feel free to walk back there. Sam, do you know what we have these? I can go out and look. What is the size? This one is. Do you want these over here? Is then. Yeah. This one here is for large and what do you think? Oh, uh, We might have them in a package. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you just use that one to tie the bow down? Yep. And then you cut it off and then I gotta put a little bobble. Yeah. To hide the, the ribbon? Yep. This little, this little guy. <laughs> now I'm gonna bring it over here near the hot yoga on this. That's probably gonna help fully. You want to see this up close? Yeah, no one's ever seen this yeah, before. This is the action right yeah. here. Is that like a double-sided bunny? Yep. Wow. Just hold it there for a few seconds. Oh, I glued my thumb. Oh, no. Voila. I mean, it needs stickers on the back, but... <laughs> It's as decorated as it gets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Good work, Tara. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I tried. Mm -hmm.